Hey guys, today I have a review for you um, for Just One Day by Gail Foreman. I loved this book and I, I'll just say that right off. It's the first in a duology. There's going to be another book. It was published earlier this year by Random House. The story is about a girl named Allison who has always kind of been a goody-goody and she goes on this really overly planned trip throughout Europe that her parents got her for high school graduation. It's a very organized trip. It's kind of dull. She doesn't really enjoy it and she doesn't like to say that she doesn't enjoy it because everyone around her is having a great time and she's just not, she's not loving it. The story starts when Allison and her friend Melanie are in stratford upon avon going to see Hamlet at the RSC, the Royal Shakespeare Company, and she, they meet this guy and this group of people who's going to be doing a, showing, a show of Twelfth Night, kind of Shakespeare in the Park style, just kind of randomly on a beach, I think it was, and yeah, and they kind of, you know, get out of going to Hamlet. They sneak out, sneak away, essentially, and see it, and it's just the best thing that's happened to Alice in the whole trip. She thinks it's amazing. The lead actor actually seems to be flirting with her and she kind of likes him. Anyway, um, yeah, they go see that and then the next day they're going back to London soon to leave. Alison's really upset, however, that she didn't get to go to Paris on the trip because of strikes and things like that. And so she ends up meeting the lead actor from Twelfth Night again and tells him this and he's like, let's go to Paris. Today. Now. So they go to Paris, right then. The lead guy's name is Willem, he's Dutch, and he is such a dreamboat, can I just say that? I really like him. The first half of the story is about their one day in Paris, their day and a half-ish in Paris, and something happens while they're in Paris, and then the next second half of the book is kind of how Allison copes with that situation, and that was what made this book so fantastic for me. It would have been really easy just to have this amazing day with this boy, and that could have been a story, kind of a one-off. Um, however, it's more about the situation that happened afterwards and it became less about the romance and more about Allison learning about herself and coming to terms with what happened and how it's going to change her from here on out and what she's learned from it and it's just so great. As you might be able to tell, I really like Allison as a lead character. I think she's a great voice. She's not horribly unique, though I do find her story unique, which makes the whole thing a bit in, a bit more interesting than it could have been. I do really like Willem, I think he's a great character. Melanie's an okay character, I didn't really like her. Um, and there are just a lot of great interesting characters throughout this book. It's a great story. She goes off to college and meets a, a couple of cool people. Um, I really like Dee. Yeah, just great characters, I think. The writing was really, really beautiful. I love Gail Foreman's writing, and I had heard mixed things about her, another book she wrote called If I Stay, so I definitely want to read that in the future, though I have heard mixed things. So let me know if you like that in the comments, but I do think I will read it because I liked the writing in this so much. And basically, I just can't wait for the second book. I think it's going to be amazing, and it's actually, I think, told from Willem's perspective, which is going to change it up a little. Overall, I gave Just One Day 5 out of 5 stars. I think it's my favorite book I've read this year so far, possibly. I'm not sure. I'll have to think about that. But I do think it's really good. Um, it's. I also really love the cover. I love this. The girl with, I think she's in a cafe or something. She's holding a cup of coffee and I like her watch. I just think it's a really nice image. I don't know. I definitely suggest picking this up. I think it's the best contemporary I've read in a little while. And yeah, really good. I wed, wed through it, read through it in a couple days, and it was just fantastic. So highly recommended. Can't wait for the next book, and I think it comes out later this year. Not sure. Either this year or next year. Everywhere it says, like, coming soon, which makes me think this year. But I don't know. And with that, I will say farewell, and I will see you tomorrow for my last, my last day of five days of video making, and it's going to be another review. As I told you, this is basically just catch up week, so I'm just catching up with all the reviews, the books I've read, so yeah. Bye guys!